Hi, I'm Brian Crombie, and we're going to be talking on The Brian Crombie Show. We're going to be talking about politics, arts, business, and social issues on The Brian Crombie Show on Canada One TV. Good evening and welcome to the Brian Crombie Show on Canada One TV. It's a real pleasure tonight to, uh, you know, it's a new year, COVID-19. I think all of us have put on that COVID-19 or 15 or whatever it is. uh, And we need to get inspired to do something. So I want to introduce you to one of the most inspirational people I've met in regards to diet and fitness. Uh, Her name is Tosca Reno and she is a New York Times bestselling author. She's written 17 books all about health, uh, diet, fitness, etc. Uh, and she's got an interesting story because uh, she wasn't always into it. Uh, somewhere around 4042, she actually went to Vegas and competed in her first bikini fitness competition. And so she's got a really interesting story. So please meet Toscarino. How are you? Lovely to be here. Thank you so much. I'm great. Thank you for joining us. So the book is uh, the Eat Clean Revolution, correct? The Eat Clean Diet Series, yes. And Eat Clean. And you, there's 17 books on 17 Eat Clean. books, yes, yeah. And, and you got into this because you went through a a bad divorce Mm -hmm. and you were frustrated and you started some you met some guy who uh, was a renowned bodybuilder and he he got you motivated about bodybuilding or something like that. Kind of like that, yes. I left my uh, my first husband. Um, It was an abusive relationship and I was also 204 pounds. You were 204 pounds? Yes, I was obese. I'm 204 pounds. No. (laughs) And I needed to make some serious changes. So I changed my life, changed my environment, changed my mindset. And as it happens, I decided I would go back to school and become a teacher and uh, met... Well, I guess I was I was discovered by Robert Kennedy, who was the um, he was the publisher of Muscle Mag and Oxygen Women's Fitness, the really iconic in the fitness and bodybuilding world. But I didn't know who I was talking to, and he said, "You met him at a dog park, or a- no? At school? At school? <laughs> yes, okay. I was I was becoming a teacher, and I was teaching his daughter grade one, and I saw him at the playground, and uh, he would bring his daughter to school, and one day he said to me, "Well, so what are you doing to keep in shape?" Oh, I'm running. You know, I know so much about fitness. Not. And he said, oh, God, if I had a dime for everybody who ever said that to me, he said, but do you lift weights? And I went, no. And and then he challenged me. He said, I would like to prepare you for a bodybuilding show. All you have to do is lift what I tell you to lift and eat what I tell you to eat. And my body just changed remarkably and I competed in my first ever show at 42. How, how, how long between the 204 and uh, competing in About Vegas? nine months. Nine months? Nine months. And yes. how much did you lose? 84 pounds. What? In yeah, nine I months was, you I was lost ripped. 84 pounds? My glutes were striated. <laughs> how did it's you a good do that? Thing. It's a good thing. Um, well it was the magic really was eating clean because of course 80% of what the body looks like is nutrition. So what you eat, 10% is training, exercising, and 10% is genetics. But the lion should... Really? 80%? 80%. Of what you look like is what you eat? hmm So it's not working out. 10% you, you is working out. You can't outrun a bad diet. You can't outrun a bad diet. No, you can't. <laughs> Fascinating. Yeah. Okay. So, and was, so it, tell us, you know, last time we chatted, you yes. told me I need to drink eight glasses of water a day, preferably a whole bunch before breakfast. So this is for me. I always say in the morning, my morning routine is cons- create before you consume. Start with hydrate. So the first liter of water goes down before your feet even hit the ground. Then I meditate. I journal. I educate. So I'll read something uh, for, for, to feed my brain. And then I start doing my writing. So my first three hours are in and I've got lots done and created because my subconscious mind is very, very present first thing in the morning. So that's my What time do you time. get up? Four o'clock? Five. Five. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. And then I work out. This morning I worked out outside. I saw that like yeah. you were like you were with you no had shirt a bare on. midriff on. Yes. You were outside in the cold and then you yeah. bragged about it saying that it's ten percent better for your mm-hmm. uh, something or other? Yeah. Because you're working out. Well you're adding an extra ten percent caloric burn because your body has to keep warm, warm while you're also training. Yeah. So But like I would sweat, I would like then it would ice up and I it would like, fine. get a cold. You would not. <laughs> it's actually good for your immune system. Really? Yeah, yeah. To exercise outside. Yeah. 
it's great. Okay, so 80% of 80%. what you look like is diet. And mm -hmm. so we talked about lots of uh, water and hydrating, mm -hmm. particularly you're saying the first liter before you even yes. hit the ground running. Uh, what yes. else? What else from a diet standpoint do you recommend? Oh my gosh. Well, this is particularly important for women because women seem to be chronically undernourished in this macronutrient and it's protein. And that's why the Eat Clean Lifestyle works is because every meal, you're eating about five to six smaller meals throughout the course of the day, is built on protein. So, so what's a really good source of protein? Well, we can get protein from animal and plant sources. Okay. And there's a very strong focus on eating plant-based now. So I have loads of suggestions for that, but you can start with things like quinoa, tempeh. Uh, What's tempeh? tempeh is, is fermented tofu. And that's, mm. yeah. No, fermented it's, it's tofu. Actually, it's actually very good. Edamame. Okay. Let me try to entice you with edamame, quinoa. Well, I love edamame. Okay, hemp. That's a good source of protein. Yep. Uh, hemp seeds, pumpkin seeds. Um, cashews? Yeah, cashews, but they're more of a fat source. Okay. Yeah. Now, on the other side, you've got animal-based proteins. And so you can, I prefer grass-fed, free-range, hormone-free antibiotic meats. Why? I get mine from True Local. Why grass-fed? Grass -fed? Because if I know the animal has eaten grass instead of been pumped, see, cows don't normally eat corn. Okay. But we feed our cows corn and we're proud of it. Well, they don't eat corn. It makes them sick. So grass-fed gives you the nutrients from the grass that the cows can ingest to turn into healthy sources of meat. Okay. No antibiotics, no hormones. That's where you're going to get your widest range of nutrients from that okay. meat. Yeah. So uh, the same with chickens, uh, turkey, uh, lamb, whatever you choose to eat. Okay. Grass-fed always. Yeah. Fish. Grass-fed. Okay. Another good source. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Uh, I can still have my steak. You can still have your steak. Yes, you can. <laughs> but you need to have some carbs with that too. It's not, it's not Atkins. You're not just eating protein. Okay. You're just leveraging the fire that happens when you eat protein. Now you're adding complex carbohydrates right. from sources like um, grains, but properly prepared grains. Like what? And, uh, well, like brown rice. Okay. Uh, I prefer to soak it. So not potatoes. Uh-ish. Mm, Sweet potatoes. So this whole Atkins Sweet thing potatoes. you said no carbs. Uh, you know, what do you think of but that? But we, we, we can't survive on no carbohydrates. Uh, when I was competing, one of the things you have to do to cycle yourself to get ready for stage is go off of carbs. So that means you're basically eating meat. That's right, it. Right, right. First of all, you smell terrible. But <laughs> secondly, I, it, it, you can't even dial your own telephone because you have no fuel to operate your brain. So, um, really? you so the carbs are the fuel to operate your brain? Absolutely. Absolutely. Really? Okay. Yeah. You're so if you're on the Atkins diet nonstop, you're actually harming your brain somehow? Well, we're, we're going to focus on eating clean. Okay. <laughs> so that's getting the full balance of all your mm -hmm. macronutrients. So that's your protein, your fat, and your complex carbohydrates. Okay, what type of fats? Fats, good fats, good fats like grass-fed butter, olive oil, avocado oil, rice bran oil, um, avocados themselves. Margarine. Not margarine. We don't want that. That is a one molecule away from plastic. <laughs> I can't believe it's one molecule, one molecule away from plastic. I'm going to keep it's coming not, back to that. Not healthy. It's that bad. You. But butter's okay. Grass-fed butter. Grass-fed Grass butter. butter. Coconut okay. oil. Cheese. Yeah. Okay, so the harder cheeses are better. If you're really serious about trying to lose weight, uh, cheese is basically butter too. But again, cheese, it's very adulterated. There's all kinds of stuff in cheese, so you got to source everything carefully. But the harder cheeses are the better ones. Okay. <laughs> so. Um, we've got to go with uh, proteins. We've got to go with a little bit of carbohydrates, and the carbohydrates are grains like uh, brown rice. Vegetables. Lots vegetables. Complex carbohydrates, especially leafy greens, right? Leafy greens? Yeah. Okay. And some fat. And some fat. And the fat is avocado, olive Coconut, oil, yeah. things like this. You got now, it. What about portion size? Is that key? Portion size is important. We can use our hands for this, okay? So okay. the palm of your hand is the perfect size for protein. Every time you have a serving of protein, it should fit in the palm of your hand. My Think doctor it. called it the champagne glass diet. The champagne glass. So Whatever it fits. has to fit in the champagne glass. <laughs> okay. That's protein. For complex carbohydrates from leafy greens, you can have two open handfuls like this. Carbohydrates from things like pasta or rice, that's all. That's it? That's it. Pasta? That's all the pasta that's you can have? That's all. That's like one spoonful of pasta, not and one meal. And fat is like a thumb size. <laughs> but is you're that, having five that? to six meals a day of that. Yes, yeah, spread out over the course of the day. Yes. We're chatting tonight with Tosca Reno, who is, uh, is an 
fitness and uh, and health and nutrition expert. She's a New York Times bestselling author. She's written 17 books and she's the Eat Clean Revolution uh, guru. And we're going to take a break and come back more. And we're going to find out about this uh, bikini fitness competition when she was 42 years old in Vegas. Stay with us. <laughs> तकरीब में शिरकत भी आपके प्यारों को कोविड 19 की जानलेवा बीमारी का शिकार बना सकती है जब तक सबको वैक्सीन नहीं लग जाती अपने घरों में रहें और जिंदगी बचाए My name is Sarah Singh and I'm your local member of provincial parliament in the riding of Brampton Centre. I know that the last year has been difficult for many families because of COVID-19. And I want you to know that my office has been fighting on behalf of the residents in Brampton Centre. If you need anything at all, don't hesitate to give us a call. My number is 905-454-1233. I hope that you've been keeping well and we look forward to hearing from you soon. Buying or selling a residential or commercial property is one of the biggest financial decisions most people will make in their life. The real estate lawyers at Alam Law Chambers will guide you through the complete real estate laws to ensure your transaction completes on time and your dreams come true. Reliable and affordable, Alam Law. Assalamu alaikum. Hello, my name is Kevin Yard, your member of Provincial Parliament for Brampton North. And I know this past year has been hard on everyone due to the COVID-19 pandemic. I want you to know I'm going to fight hard for the residents of Brampton North for any of your concerns down at Queen's Park. And if you have any questions, please feel free to contact my community office at 905-495-8030. Team Farhan Mortgage Solutions. Aapki khidmat mein pesh pesh. 15 saala tajrube ke hamil. Aapki zaruriyat aur marzi ke ain mutabik. कारोबारी रिहायशी तामिराती और जरई मॉर्गेज सर्विसेज हमारा कम तरीन मॉर्गेज रेट टीम फरहान को एक दफा खिदमत का जरूर मौका दीजिएगा एंड दिस इज माय पर्सनल प्रॉमिस टू यू यू विल नॉट बी डिसअपॉइंटेड एट टीम फरहान वी हैव अ मॉर्गेज सॉल्यूशन डिजाइन फॉर यू मजीद मालूमात के लिए 416-569-9294 या फिर विजिट कीजिए हमारी वेबसाइट www.teamfarhan.com Was your family or business prepared for this financial crisis? Want to learn how I prepare my clients with the essential financial planning pyramid? For any financial crisis come their way? Hello, this is Zahir Sayyid from Roj Financial. For your complimentary Zoom or Skype meeting, call my office at 905-624-0008 or visit arujfinancial.com. Meet Kamran Qureshi. Kamran is an expert in providing personalized advices in the field of mortgage services. He can assist in dealing with purchase transactions, all refinance and equity takeouts, financing for primary or investment properties, transfer from other lenders, debt consolidation. Kamran has been providing mortgage services to the community for the last 17 years. Simply get in touch with the expert to arrange a meeting that works for you. Please call Kamran at 647-280-6663. Are you looking for a different type of realtor? Meet Suhail Khan, broker owner of Century 21 Innovative Realty Inc. You don't need to know a lot about real estate, but you do need to know Suhail Khan, who knows a whole lot about real estate. He knows contracts, negotiations, research, he knows the market, and he really knows the area. When it comes to real estate buying or selling, Suhail Khan is a know-it-all. Get to know Suhail Khan. 416-822-0305 or at SuhailKhan.ca. Experience excellence. 
Hi, I'm Brian Crombie, and we're going to be talking on The Brian Crombie Show. We're going to be talking about politics, arts, business, and social issues on The Brian Crombie Show on Canada One TV. Welcome back to The Brian Crombie Show on Canada One TV. It's a real pleasure for me tonight. Um, actually, it's a little bit humiliating because I'm talking to uh, Tosca Reno, who's talking about uh, how she went from 204 to, what'd you say? I competed at 132. 132, like that's unbelievable, in nine months. <laughs> and, uh, and it was all based on 80% diet and 10% uh, fitness. So it sounds like a really quite an impressive, uh, impressive job. Um, but she's written 17 books. She's a New York Times bestselling author, and she is the guru of the eat clean revolution. And one of the things that really, and I, I've got to tell you, since the first time I met you, Tosca, I've been doing this, not a leader, <laughs> but, but, but I have been having two or three glasses of water nice. as soon as I wake up. Because what you said is that's one of the first things to do is hydrate that's right. the body and drink it before you go and do anything else. I used to have two or three coffees before I did anything else. <laughs> I've stopped that and I'm going to two or three glasses of water. But you know, let me, let me ask you, I've heard a lot about uh, sugar being this sort of villain. Mm -hmm. Tell me, you know, is sugar bad or good? Well, we have to understand that there's a couple ways to look at sugar. Sugar in the refined form that we created out of sugar cane, which resembles nothing like the sugar cane plant, that is not a healthy form. But sugar in the form of glucose, that's the preferred fuel of the brain. The body needs to get energy and it gets it from glucose. Okay. But what's happened is we've become a nation of sugar eaters. And in the 1940s, we might have eaten maybe five, 10 pounds of sugar per person in North America. Now we're at 120, flirting with 125. Hold it, hold it. We've gone from five mm -hmm. to 10 pounds of sugar a mm -hmm. year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we've increased by 10 to 20 times oh, or over 100 we're, pounds? We're at 122 pounds per person per year in North America. Now, I personally am not eating sugar, so somebody's getting my share. Yes. And the lion's share of those sugars are found in liquid beverages like sodas, juices, sports drinks, caffeinated beverages like uh, at, at coffee shops where they're loaded up with caramel and this and that. So, and also cereals. Most cereals are completely adulterated with Captain sugar. Crunch. Captain Crunch. <laughs> yeah. Oatmeal, you're safe. But uh, this other stuff, I, I look at the wall of cereal and I just think, oh Lord. So why is sugar so bad for you? Why is refined sugar so bad for you? Refined sugar is, is a poor nutritional choice. It's not even a food because it has no nutrients. In fact, it leaves the body in a less than state. Sugar is a thief. So when you consume refined sugar, because I don't, I know you, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I, I do. But it's when okay. the general you consumes sugar, refined sugar, what happens is the body doesn't recognize it as nutrition. So it has to make a decision. What am I going to do with this stuff? And to process sugar correctly, it will have to remove minerals from your bones and from your blood and from your organs and from your everywhere. And that leaves you in a less than state. But the other thing that happens is when there's too much sugar, we store it in the liver. We store it in the safe storage place, which is fat, right. or it gets stored in the brain. Now, two things will happen as a result of that. Just many more, but two that we can speak of. You get insulin resistance, mm -hmm. and then you go on to diabetes type two. Right. And that's just the inability of the pancreas to deal with insulin. It just, there's so much sugar being consumed all the time. The pancreas just eventually says, you know what, I give up, I just quit, I cannot handle it anymore. Right, but worse, what they're calling dementia and Alzheimer's now is diabetes type three. So a lifestyle disease that you've given yourself from consuming sugar, where your brain, remember, the brain is the preferred food of the brain is glucose. However, if you're giving too much refined sugar to the brain, it ultimately too, like the pancreas, quits and says, I can't do this job anymore. So you're not clear cognition anymore. You don't have executive functioning. Your brain volume begins to shrink. Your neurons and So it's killing brain cells? Well, it shrinks brain, when you say volume. brain volume. What do you mean by I'll that? Tell you, I'm going to tell you. So you have neurons that wire together and fire together, yeah. right? Synapses, neurons. But these connections begin to break away when there's too much sugar because the brain volume is shrinking and now messages can't get through. You're saying that overconsumption of sugar can lead to Alzheimer's and dementia. And you're calling diabetes it- Diabetes type three. Diabetes type three. Mm -hmm. That's, so I'm, I'm uh, uh, pre-diabetic. What does that mean? 
uh, if you're pre-diabetic, you have uh, if it's not type one, then you're going straight up. You, you start eating clean, start eating some protein, and clean up your diet. Get rid of sugar, and you can take it back. It, these are lifestyle diseases. Many of the things we're afflicted with today from heart disease to being overweight, obese, certain cancers, diabetes. These are lifestyle diseases. It really? means that we have genetic. done this to ourselves. We've done it to ourselves. Very low. In by fact, the food we eat, by the lack of activity. Lack of activity, exactly. Because the World Health Organization tells us that wellness is not defined by the absence of disease. It's defined by three pillars, eating clean, exercise, and emotional self-care. And we eating can- clean. Exercise, exercise and emotional, emotional self-care self and we can override genetic expression that 10% that we were talking about at the beginning 80% nutrition 10% training 10% genetics we can override the expression of our genes by affecting our lifestyle positively through eating certain foods that enhance our genetic expression and also exercise which is one of the key ways to alter genetic expression. Okay, so expression. let's talk about exercise for a second. So okay. you said that this uh, uh, this gentleman that you met that you ended up getting married to. Robert Kennedy. Um, uh, was, uh, was a preeminent gentleman in the Fitness Institute yes. and he got you into lifting weights. Yes. Why? Because lifting weights for a person who's interested in shaping a lean, healthy body is like what Michelangelo would you would call his paintbrush. It's the tool. It's the only tool to create your art. Not not out running, not cardiovascular type work. It's part of it. But weight lifting does something very powerful. It exchanges adipose tissue, fat, for lean muscle tissue. Okay. When you train your muscles, you're building more muscular tissue and muscular tissue is metabolically more active than fat so now you're a furnace now you've got these muscles that are demanding to be fed it's a beautiful way to manage blood sugar by the way li or lifting weights but and and you're also able to carve shapes into your body so you can narrow the waist you can lift the glutes you can get the quad sweep you can widen the shoulders you can build uh, form and definition, get the delt cap, get the biceps, triceps, all of these things, which are beautiful. When you look at a human body that is fit and muscular, what you're seeing is art, and you can shape that through training with weights. And for me, that's power. And I lose and so myself. You did this between 41 yes. and 42 and nine months, and then you went and competed Many in, times. In many times, yeah. but, but nine months later in Vegas and, yes. and, and, and in a bikini. Yes. What was that like? <laughs> it was wild. I mean, I couldn't have dreamed that I would be doing such things, but but I did it. And I, nine I months was, ago, you were 205 pounds. Yes. And I, I was amazing. committed to the journey because I was sick and tired of being that purposeless, overweight, ill, just really unpleasant woman. That wasn't me. That wasn't being respectful and honorable of who I truly was. And then to see that I could shape this for myself and become something else was, you know, when you when you connect those uh, that emotion in your brain, you you get kind of hooked on it. And I is it a high? It's a high. Really? I, when I'm lifting, training, when I'm competing, I am not here. My edges dissolve. I'm in another space altogether. I'm really? in flow state. I'm in flow state. Do you still lift? I still lift. I oh, saw yeah. you out uh, today. Um, doing something with some band that yes. you were like, uh, what's that all about? Well, resistance band training. So lots of people today are stuck at home. They can't work out in gyms. They have no equipment, but you can buy very simple resistance bands with varying tensions. And basically I put myself through a workout with a band today that incorporated my entire body, got my heart lung uh, engine going. I uh, worked hard on my glutes, you know, my body, all of myself. And for 10 bucks, it's, you know, you can, you can have a workout anywhere. I did it outside today. It was minus seven. So we, we've talked about diet. Yeah. We've talked about a little bit about fitness. And I'd love to talk more about that, but let's talk about uh, mental health for a second. Mental health. Um, you know, you went through a bad divorce. You ended up meeting this gentleman. Uh, you got married to him. He was uh, um, unbelievably uh, successful and mm -hmm. uh, renowned. Publisher. And then, and then I understand that, uh, he passed away mm -hmm. and the company went bankrupt. How'd you deal with that? So we, I hit a dark chapter, yes. In 2011, um, um, Robert's child passed away, my, ch my stepson. He was 24, complications from a car accident. A year later, in 2012, Robert passed from lung cancer. 
And uh, then a year later, I, I was forced to bankrupt his business. He'd been insolvent for the five years leading up to his death. So, um, and there were a lot of unpleasant surprises. <laughs> Namely, there was no money. Uh, so that was a very difficult thing to go through. It must and, have been. Um, I'm so sorry to hear all that. Yeah, it was, it was how'd challenging. How did you deal with that? How did you, how'd you have the, the fortitude, the resilience to deal with that? Not very well at first. <laughs> so this is the piece that I was telling you about what the World Health Organization yeah. says is wellness, right? Is you can exercise and you can eat clean all you want to, but if you don't know how to take care of your head heart space, you're in trouble. How do you take care and of your most head of space? us, exactly, don't know how to do that. We don't go to school for, hey, here's how we're going to take care of our emotional self. Yeah. So I learned to meditate right. and journal and practice gratitude and forgiveness. Me meditate, journal, gratitude, forgiveness. forgiveness. Forgiveness is hard, very hard. And I learned to be present in the moment. And I've gone on shamanic healing journeys. I've joined uh, meditation groups where women gather every week to meditate together. And this is now what I teach in my work. I have private coaching. I teach women and men how to take care of their head heart space. And a lot of it is just getting real with yourself and having the courage to look at the really dark parts of you that aren't real pretty. Because we all have a role to play in whatever fate we bring to ourselves, right? It's not them. And so I've come to look at these experiences, the dark chapter as I call it, as um, life happening for me, not to me. Because I have for a choice. Me, not to me. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Because I have a choice to Tosca, make. Um, if people want to buy your book, if people want to check out your uh, mm -hmm. your website, some of your uh, counseling, counseling and coaching and stuff like that, how do they do that? They can. It's super easy. ToscaReno.com. There I am. And we're going to be doing that live uh, Strike Sugar Challenge for the whole month of March. So people can join. It's going to be I'm great fun. I'm going to try. It's going to be great fun. Sugar. I change people's lives. For one month, that can, mm -hmm. it's going to change my life. Yeah, it's going to change your life. But it's 80% diet, 10% fitness. Mm -hmm. And, and the fitness genetics. has got to be um, weights? Well, you can do weights, cardiovascular exercise combined. My preference is always weights because if you're doing it right, you can definitely make it a cardiovascular workout. Right. Yeah. But listen, movement is movement. If all you can do is walk, please walk. 30 minutes a day, max heart rate of 65% or greater, you're good. Uh, Marino, uh, the eat, uh, um, Eat Clean Diet and the Eat Clean Revolution, 17 books. You can get them uh, um, through uh, your website. Uh, you can get Amazon, them online. wherever you can uh, buy you books. You can go to uh, Tuscarino and uh, check her out. Uh, she's on Facebook. She's on Instagram. Uh, she's got a website. Uh, she's got this uh, Sugar Clean Month uh, starting in March. Yeah. Uh, and I love this attitude that you talk about the World Health Organization about um, nutrition, fitness, and mental health yep. and we've got to balance it all so thanks so much for joining us tonight brian crombie on the uh, brian crombie show on canada one tv have a good night everybody Patna Kebab House, the taste you like, the cuisine you love. Two locations to cater to your needs. Mississauga at 755 Queensway Road East, 905-897-1420. Scarborough at 1885 Lawrence Avenue East, 
फोर ऑल हलाल डाइन इन टेक आउट केटरिंग पटना कबाब हाउस घर खरीदने का इरादा हो तो सबसे बड़ा मसला मॉर्गेज की अप्रूवल मगर अब ये मसला नहीं रहा क्योंकि हमारे साथ हैं मॉर्गेज एडवाइजर मोइन अहमद मॉर्गेज अप्रूवल सिर्फ एक कॉल के फासले पर कॉल कीजिए फोर वन सिक्स ट्रिपल सिक्स वन फाइव सिक्स थ्री और तीन हजार डॉलर कैश हासिल करें सम कंडीशन अप्लाई कॉल कीजिए फोर वन सिक्स ट्रिपल सिक्स वन फाइव सिक्स थ्री मॉर्गेज एडवाइजर मोइन अहमद जब घर में आ जाए कुछ अजनबी तो रेस्क्यू करेगा रेस्क्यू कैनेडा बेड बग्स का हमेशा के लिए खात्मा द सोल्यूशन इज वन कॉल अवे टू एट नाइन फोर एट नाइन जीरो सिक्स सेवन एट KK Travels believe in providing everyone with first class customer service. We take care of not only your air ticket but dignity and respect as well. We are available on WhatsApp anytime for you even while you are in Pakistan or any other destination. We provide the lowest price guaranteed and are open to price match any airline. We are KK Travels under supervision of Gas Khan at 9053679433 or visit www.gaskhantravels.com. एयर विंग्स ट्रेवल एंड टूर्स नॉर्थ अमेरिका की सबसे बाइतमान और फास्टेस्ट एयर ट्रेवल सर्विसेज 25 साल का तजर्बा लिए लातादाद अफोर्डेबल ट्रेवल डील्स के साथ एक्सेलेंस इन कस्टमर सर्विसेज ऑन जस्ट वन फोन कॉल ये है एयर विंग्स ट्रेवल एंड टूर्स फॉर बुकिंग कॉल नाउ 1855247964 एट फाइव फाइव टू फोर सेवन नाइन फोर सिक्स फोर और नाइन ओ फाइव टू सेवन टू टू थ्री जीरो जीरो एयर विंग्स ट्रेवल एंड टूर्स Consumer Choice Award recipients and GTA's top rank service provider Dixie Electronics authorized dealer of all major companies shop with a peace of mind and low prices are always guaranteed I promise best customer service and lowest prices in GTA because we beat prices from all major stores and small stores at Dixie Electronics our motto is we sell quality and deliver confidence Dixie Electronics and Appliances 5120 Dixie Road Unit 11 Mississauga phone number 905 6255900 If you are looking for a reliable professional and affordable travel agency in your town then your search is over Global Travel and Tours is your personal travel partner our dedicated staff at Mississauga Jeddah and Islamabad is always ready to make your trip hassle-free, memorable and cost-effective. We will assist you with hotel reservations, the transportation, visa assistance and travel insurance. We are the number one pilgrimage specialist for Hajj, Umrah as well as ziyarat to Iran and Iraq. Global Travel and Tours is a one-stop solution for your travel, immigration and forex needs. We are IATA approved agents and an authorized Umrah agent. To book your holiday or Umrah package, please give us a call right now at 1877-275-3555. We look forward to hearing from you.